Hey puzzle friends, how's it going? Welcome back, or if you're new, I'm GB and welcome to my channel. This is a place for anyone who loves puzzles, whether you're new to puzzling or you consider yourself an expert. Today, I'm gonna to be piecing together this beautiful round Ravensburger puzzle. So this is part of the Circle of Colors series. And I think there's about six in the series that I could find. So there's this one, which is called Ocean. And then there's, um, I think there's a map one, an animals one, a flowers one, a fruits one, and a dessert one. I think that's all of them. Um, but like the name suggests, circle of colors, they are all round, they're all 500 pieces and they all have sort of like colorful elements and I guess a very like rainbow gradient-esque you might say, so definitely my kind of puzzle. Um, so this one, the ocean one, um, like the name suggests, it features this gorgeous like ocean underwater scene um, and has like all the sort of different colors going around the circle. Um, but there's so much like beautiful details going on, so in the center we've got a cute little clamshell with a pearl in it and then around that we've got different colored like uh, seaweeds and corals and then further out we've got lots of different tropical fish so we've got like yellowy ones going into the orange red pink purple blue teal green um, and then we've got like lots of other cute sea creatures too so we've got like this turtle here some jellyfish uh, a stingray what else have we got seahorses i think it's a squid and a crab and probably lots of other little things that I haven't even noticed yet. And then I like that the edge, they haven't just sort of ended the edge with like blue water or anything like that. They've made made it sort of varied and different around different parts of the circle. So we've got a little almost beach, beach scene here with like sand and seashells and then a bit of seaweed. We've got waves happening. I think we've got some coral down the bottom. And even over here, we've got like a bit of sort of froth from like the water or the waves. So yeah, it's really cool. It's like just a lot going on and it's very pretty. And I am very excited to put this together. I haven't tried any of these and this is um, also gonna be the first round puzzle from Ravensburger. I mean, I'm not sure if they've put out any round ones before. If you know, let me know in the comments. But yeah, I'm excited to sort of try a different type of one of their puzzles and sort of see what the experience is like and see what the pieces are like. And speaking of which, um, in a sec, we are going to look at the packaging, unbox this, check out the pieces, and of course, get into puzzling. So let's take a quick look at the packaging and then we'll open it up. So the box is a nice square shape and it's actually, I checked, it's actually the same height as like the other sort of normal 1000 piece Ravensburger boxes. So yeah, same sort of thickness, I guess, is that. Um, and then on the front, we've got, I guess like yes well it's the whole image except there's a few little pieces here that they've sort of pulled out for I guess display purposes um, but yes yeah, so a circle of colors here in like pretty rainbow colors 500 and then Ravensburger puzzle got the image here we've actually got a little picture here that says plus poster and has like a little poster image of it and then we've got this sort of classic blue triangle Ravensburger branding in the corner so yeah almost the same as like the like normal kind of, I guess, 1000 piece Ravensburger puzzles. Um, and then, yeah, something that I thought was kind of nice, nice touch is that, so the box is just like a smooth matte finish, but um, I think it's, yeah, the so-called colors wording and anywhere that this image is and the little poster picture here, it's all like a very shiny, glossy finish. I think it's called like a spot varnish. Um, but yeah, it's nice, feels nice and looks fancy. So yeah, it's kind of a nice touch makes it a bit brighter and stand out. And then the sides of the box, what do we got? So this one says circle colors, sort of has like a half circle of the image, 500 Ravensburger puzzle, and then has the Ravensburger blue and logo. And then that's, yeah, kind of repeated on this side. Oh no, yes. Yes, but like it's different. I guess it's so if you're standing it up. Um, so it's got 500. Ravensburger puzzle, like sort of half the image, circle colors. Um, here though, we've actually got a bit of, yes, extra information. So we've got um, the diameter 52 centimeters, and then it has like some other code. I'm guessing it's just sort of like the puzzle code number. I don't know what it means. And then Ravensburger blue corner as well. And then huh, what else have we got? Okay, each side's like slightly different, so bear with me. Oh, okay, so this one's this way. Um, and it has like a mini version of the whole image, circle colors, 500, and then the blue triangle. And then, okay, I've got to work out which side I haven't done. We've done that, we've done that. Okay, right. So this is actually just a repeat of the last side I did, but the other way up. So this is very confusing. 
let's go to the back. Uh, so on the back, we've got a bit more information here. So we've got circle colors puzzle. And then, then we've got like some symbols here. So we've got a little puzzle piece and says 500 and then a little sort of like lotus flower and it says relax. And it has the sort of diameter picture with 52 centimeters. And then we've got here a picture of the artist and in different languages here, we've got a little bit about the artist who is Asia Orlando and it says she's a digital artist, illustrator, environmentalist. Um, yeah, and then it just goes on and has a bit more about her and her artwork. And then down here, we've got sort of a picture of like the puzzle pieces. And again, in different languages, it says, okay, premium quality pieces fit perfectly, glare free finish. So that's nice to know. Um, and then what else have we got? The name of the puzzle, um, the artist, and then just a bit of info, like contact sort of details for Ravensburger. We've got like other little kind of like, uh, I don't know, like a barcode and other little European code things and things about like what the cardboard's made from and the Raven Ravensburger logo again. And yeah, part of the puzzle image again. Whew, that's a lot of info, but I think we've covered it all. So let's open this up. Okay. And then on the inside, we've just got plain cardboard. So yeah, that's good. And then do we have anything around sides? No, it's just plain white. And then the puzzle pieces come in just a, a non reusable. Well, it's not designed to be reused, but you could if you wanted to a plastic bag, which I guess you can recycle. We'll open that up shortly. Um, and there's definitely puzzle dust because uh, I can see it all here. So that's annoying, but it's sort of, I've come to expect that with Ravensburger puzzles. So, you know, it's not completely surprising, but let's see if I can actually lift this up. This is our poster here. Okay, Ugh. shake off the dust. Um, so the box is just, again, cardboard on the inside. So this poster looks pretty big. Um, yeah, so blank on that side as expected. And yeah, it's a nice big poster actually. You can see all the details really clearly. So yeah, that's gonna be very handy and useful. Um, so yeah, that's great. I don't think I've ever received a poster in any other Ravensburger puzzle. So this is a bit of a first, which is exciting, but it also makes me wonder why they've never bothered to put a poster in the others. I mean, I think that some puzzles like their Amy Stewart ones sometimes come with like a little artist kind of bio and a bit of a like a tiny reference picture, but it's nothing like this size. So yeah, I think this is the first time I've ever seen anything like that. So, um, but yeah, nice to have that. And now let's look at the pieces. So after pouring the pieces out, there is definitely a bit of puzzle dust in the bag, um, which again, it's not surprising. I'm kind of used to that with Ravensburger. So I'm guessing there's probably going to be a bit more dust in amongst the pieces as well. Um, and then, yeah, speaking of the pieces, they definitely look very Ravensburger. They've got um, sort of blue backing board, um, but we'll look at that in a minute. So let's look at the shapes. Um, there's definitely some interesting shapes here, which is what I expected uh, because it's a round puzzle pieces just have to be different than, you know, a normal rectangle or square puzzle. So I think I've found kind of the centerpiece, which is this weird little roundish oval shape with little tabs coming off of it. And I can see the pearl image on it. So it's a fun, quirky little shape, um, which is quite common in a lot of round puzzles. They tend to have sometimes like a circle type thing in the middle. And then of course, we've got pieces that sort of will build around it in a bit of a, I guess, sort of like a spiral or uh, different layers that will go, you know, get wider as it goes out rings, I guess. Um, but yeah, so you've got, you know, pieces that have a bit of a curve to them, which makes sense. So yeah, like lots of different interesting curvy pieces. Um, and they all have different, you know, tabs and things on them. There are pieces here that, oh, that's a weird one. Some other very quirky shaped pieces. Um, but there are sort of pieces here too, that look closer to a standard piece, like this one here has got like, looks like a kind of fairly normal two tab piece. I mean, it's still a bit quirky, but you know, it looks a bit closer to what you'd normally see in a kind of grid cut puzzle. So yeah, there's definitely a mix here. There's bigger pieces, there's little pieces, there's like all sorts of weird shapes and sizes. So yeah, I think they're quite fun and interesting. And yeah, I think it'll be fun to put together. And then like, I guess let's just take a look at a regular piece. So they have that sort of classic uh, blue board backing, which is like, you know, what I think pretty much all Ravensburger puzzles have, or at least these days. So it's a very like 
iconic part of their branding, I guess. And then the thickness is just a nice medium thickness. Um, piece feels, yeah, pretty strong. It's not too soft or anything, feels quite sturdy. Uh, I mean, you know, of course you can bend it a little bit, but I don't think it could like easily, uh, you know, I don't think you're gonna get too many bent tabs or anything. Seems pretty strong. And then the top is, well, despite it saying not glary, I think it was somewhere on the box. Um, there is definitely a bit of sheen to it because it is, it's quite smooth, but there's actually a very subtle kind of cross head or cross hatch kind of pattern. It's really subtle, but, and it's very smooth to feel, but it does still pick up a bit of sheen and glare. So it will be interesting to see how much of that's gonna occur when puzzling. I usually find when I look at pieces now, my extra lighting tends to make them look a bit more shiny, I guess. But then when I have my sort of normal puzzle lighting, it tends to not always be as like glary. So yeah, we'll have to just see what happens when we get into puzzling. Um, but yeah, the images from what I could tell, nice and like, yeah, it looks very bright and crisp and clear. So that's good. Yeah, the colors look very fun and yeah, just really beautiful. Um, yeah, and I haven't seen any damaged pieces. Um, like I said, I feel like a lot of the pieces seem pretty sturdy. I mean, sometimes depending on the piece shape as well, um, that can make a piece a bit more weaker, if, especially if it's like very skinny in some parts or something like that. But I, yeah, I haven't seen any damage, so that's good. Everything looks nice. Um, I don't know how the pieces are gonna fit together. Um, I mean, I'm guessing there's not gonna be really any false fits, or I'd be very surprised if there were because the piece shapes are very like varied and irregular. So that definitely reduces that. Plus the image is very like, has very distinct parts in it and it's only 500 pieces too. So I would be quite surprised if I end up getting any false fits, you never know, but probably not. Um, but I don't know how snug or loose the pieces will fit. I mean, sometimes it's a bit hit and miss with Raven's, normal Ravensburger puzzles anyway. Sometimes I feel like some are a bit more tight fitting than others. Um, so yeah, it'll be interesting to see what it's like with this. I actually have no idea at this point. So yeah. Um, so I think, yeah, we might get into some puzzling in a sec. Um, I think I might sort of even uh, just talk to you a little bit while I'm doing a bit of sorting and even start putting some of the basic bits of the puzzle together and we'll go from there. So I thought it might be fun to sort of talk through a little bit of the sorting and hopefully piecing a few bits and pieces together. Um, so I've poured all the pieces across both the box bottom and lid, because why not? We might as well use up some of that space. So let's uh, pick things out of this one first. So I th think it seems like a lot of these are pretty easy to tell, Oops, which is like an edge piece, like that looks like it might be an edge piece or border, I should say. So maybe let's pull out some of those and maybe we can get some of the border happening together. That would be good. Um, so yeah, I'm assuming these are all, I guess, yeah, edge or border pieces. They are pretty uh, big in size, a lot of these, so they're fairly easy to spot. if we'll be able to find them all straight away. I mean, usually when I do a puzzle these days, I tend to rummage through the box like this and then eventually flip them all over. But I think in this case, like we have, you know, we can see a lot of what's going on. So I don't know if I will end up flipping them all over. Might not need to. Um, and usually when I do this, I tend to like decide on something else to pick out, like a color, which I guess I might do eventually, but I, I don't know, I feel like you know, picking out the edge pieces first, I think. Oh, that's my cat sneezing, if you can hear that. Maybe it's the uh, Ravensburger puzzle dust. All right, let's swap boxes, see what we can find in this one. Like they're pretty easy to spot. It's 
so I measured this puzzle board and this puzzle will fit on here, but I think the diameter sort of will reach fairly close to the height of the board. Um, but you should still uh, be able to see like the whole thing, so that's good. I think I've found a lot of these now. Maybe I say as I keep finding more. Okay, I think we're getting close. I mean, I'm sure there's still some in both boxes that, you know, uh, I haven't found yet, but I think we're pretty close to getting the majority of the border out. So let's move that over there. And um, yeah, let's see if we can join some of these up. All right, here we go. Got a seashell, so that's good. And a bit of like the frothy water, I guess. These are, okay, so the back of the box did say like glare free and I was a bit skeptical and I think rightly so because actually like my sort of normal lighting I don't have extra lighting for filming at this moment I am getting quite a bit of sheen across these so I kind of have to lean further forward to properly see the image in color I mean I can see still sort of see it but yeah I, I it is definitely causing some sheen and glare so I don't think I agree with the back of the box all that much. Um, well, that's good. We're getting some of this put together, so that's excellent. Uh, what goes here? And so far, it's pretty uh, going pretty quick, I think. Well, that goes together because there's the artist name there, so that's handy. Um, I mean, I'm not really imagining this is going to take an awful long time because the image is pretty bright and colorful and has like a lot of distinct sort of sections and colors and shapes and things. So I kind of feel like, you know, I don't think it will, I don't know how long it will take, maybe a couple of hours, maybe less, maybe a little more, who knows, but I, it's not going to take me, uh, you know, all day to, to do this. So, um, Maybe we're missing, am I being, is this really obvious and I'm just not seeing the piece that goes here? Or maybe it's still one of the boxes, I think. That's okay. Uh, okay, well we can do the other side. I like that it's like with the round puzzles like this, you can sort of also just spin it around easily because I was a bit like worried, oh, how am I gonna sort of reach all the way over there? But I was like, of course I can just, sort of shift this around and that makes things nice and easy so yeah that's good except I got all these puzzle pieces in the way um, what else does that go there no it doesn't yeah I feel like this is sort of coming together pretty quickly Um, what goes here? That one. This is quite fun, actually. Like, I mean, I I was pretty sure I was going to enjoy any of these puzzles that I get my hands on because they're all very fun and just colourful, and you know, I think it's always fun doing a round puzzle as well. So yeah, I'm really glad I got a hold of one of these because yeah, it's definitely fun. Um, I think I'm going to have to go rummaging through these boxes again. Oh, yeah, there we go. Some hiding at the bottom of the box. Okay, 
Nope, nope, yep, okay. Excellent. Cool. And oh, that goes there, does it? Yeah, uh, no, it doesn't go there, but it goes there, so that's cool. Wow, this is like coming together pretty quickly. I'm sure like some of the other sections might be a bit slower. Um, although, they, you know, they're all pretty distinct and colorful. So maybe, maybe not. I'm definitely really liking the patterns and colors on this. They're really pretty. So I think, um, I might sort of stop chatting and, you know, get fully stuck into puzzling and just, you know, uh, do a bit of a time lapse and let you watch what I'm doing. Um, and then at the end, I'm, I think we'll just work. I think this puzzle is going to be pretty quick. So I think I'll just work the whole way through and not stop again until we're done with it. And then, uh, yeah, and then we can like chat about it and uh, I can tell you how I, what I thought of it and the quality and everything. So yeah, so I guess uh, without delay, let's uh, get into some proper puzzling. So I'm back and it's another day and I finished this gorgeous puzzle and I really had a lot of fun doing it and I just really love how it's turned out. I think it's super pretty. I love all the rainbow colors, of course, but I actually really love the beautiful illustrations. They're just so nicely done and they're sort of like an interesting mix of like being realistic, but also a bit whimsical and there's just so many like really cute little fun details. So yeah, I just really loved it. And I actually found this to be a kind of, I guess, very satisfying and I guess medium level difficulty. So it wasn't ridiculously easy, but it wasn't hard either. So I think feel like it could sort of suit a lot of different age groups. I think kids could have fun doing this, but you know, also lots of different adults. And I think it sort of suits a whole bunch of different puzzle skill levels too. So yeah, definitely really enjoyed it. Um, it was also pretty, I guess, fairly quick to put together. It took an hour and 50 minutes, so a bit under two hours, including me chatting at the beginning. So I feel like that's a pretty reasonable time for a 500 piece puzzle. You can sort of, you know, do that in an afternoon or if you've got a bit of spare time on the weekend or something like that, I feel like you could kind of put this one together and yeah, it's not gonna take up your whole day or anything like that. 
Um, so let's chat about the quality. Um, so the pieces have that beautiful blue board backing that Ravensburgers tend to have. And I feel like the pieces, even though they're different shape and it's round, it still fit together, you know, fairly, uh, in a fairly similar way to other Ravensburger puzzles that I have. Like it felt, definitely felt like a Ravensburger when I was doing it. Um, so I didn't have any false fits, which I didn't really expect to being round and having all these sort of quite unique piece shapes. Um, but like other Ravensburger puzzles, I feel like the pieces, they fit nicely together. Like there's no sort of gaps or anything. It's not a specifically, I guess, loose fit. But that being said, uh, it's a bit hit and miss in picking up sections. So I can like, well, as you can see, you can sort of, no, apparently you can't. You can kind of pick up, like, I guess it looks like you can sort of pick up sections, but as you can see, sometimes bits break off. So I wouldn't be confident doing a puzzle pickup, um, especially not, not when my edge is falling off. Um, but you can definitely sometimes still pick up some sections. So that's why I say it's a bit hit and miss. And I feel like that's the case with other, like their 1000 piece puzzles as well. I have a pretty similar experience. Um, the other thing that's kind of the same that I was expecting is there is a little bit of puzzle dust. So there's a bit on the board here, not too much. And there was some in the box in the bag. That's to me pretty normal for Ravensburger. That seems to be the case with all their puzzles. Um, but I have to say I was very impressed with the sort of like overall quality in that there were no damaged pieces at all. Everything was very perfect and yeah, just all the pieces look beautiful. Um, but I do have one big gripe with this puzzle and it's more maybe about like the marketing or what it says on the box. So the back of the box says um, premium quality pieces fit perfectly. Well, that bit I'm like, well, that's subjective, isn't it? But glare free finish. And I would have to absolutely disagree with that. So, I mean, you might even be able to tell why I disagree with that. Um, so at the moment there is so much glare on this puzzle. I have an extra light for filming, but there's this glare over here in front of me all over it. Um, and then even when I was actually puzzling and I didn't have extra lights, just the one above me, I had issues with glare in front of me, which I kind of, even when I do other puzzles that have a bit of sheen, that doesn't tend to be the case too much. But with this one it was so I could still sort of see the pieces roughly but to see the like image properly I have to like lean over to sort of avoid the glare which is a bit annoying um so yeah that was my main issue um and I feel like you know it didn't bother me too too much because obviously I got the puzzle together and you know I still really enjoyed the puzzle but I just feel like maybe they shouldn't say that on the box when it's not true so if they didn't say that I'd probably be more okay with it the other interesting thing was um, speaking of like the glare and stuff and probably what contributed to more of the glare is this puzzle has quite a uh, almost like a varnish finish it seems more glossy and more like a varnish and I found that to be the case in this little puzzle too which I did I think earlier this year which is the 200 piece puzzle moment puzzle there's a few in this series and yeah when I did this one I noticed straight away like I was like oh the pieces are really like quite glossy so it seems to sort of have the same type of piece coating as this one um, and whereas like most sort of 1000 piece Ravensburgers seem to be a lot more matte than that and I even went and opened up one of my brand new uh, puzzles from this year of theirs a 2022 one checked um, and it was yeah it definitely wasn't glossy like these two it was a lot more matte so yeah that's interesting I don't know why that is maybe something to do with the shape or the size of these being a bit different maybe they have to make it a different way I don't know if you know let me know um, so yeah, apart from that though, I really enjoyed it and I think, yeah, overall I would still recommend this. I had a lot of fun and I could see myself doing this one again and I definitely am interested in getting the others from the series. So, you know, it hasn't put me off too much. I just wish the box didn't say that. It's a bit misleading. Um, but yeah, I think overall it's just, yeah, really nice level of challenge, a be beautiful imagery and, you know, still nice quality Ravensburger pieces. Um, so I'm not really going to talk about price too much because here in Australia, these just don't seem to be available yet. I hope they turn up. I haven't seen them in any retail stores or even online stores. The only places I've seen them is like eBay or Amazon and Amazon is where I got this one. And it actually came from the UK, but I got it on sale, which is why I grabbed it. Um, so yeah, there's, unfortunately I don't really have a way to 
tell you if it's worth the price here in Australia, but just to give you an idea of sort of how much they seem to be retailing for in a few other places. Um, I found a UK puzzle website and it was going for 13 uh, pounds and I found the Canadian Walmart website and it was I think $21.48. I'll pop all this on the screen just so you don't have to remember me saying it. And then I found, I think it was Serious Puzzles, which I think is a US online store. And it was, I think, $18.95 US. So I guess, yeah, in the comments below, you can let me know if you think those prices are sort of reasonable for this type of puzzle. And, you know, if you think it's worth it and if you pay that much for this. So, yeah. But, yeah, overall, though, I'm very happy with it, apart from the glare issues. Um, and, yeah, I would happily do more of these. So in the comments below, let me know what you thought of this puzzle. Did you like the design? Um, have you tried any of these circle colors puzzles before? Or are there any that you do want to try? If you enjoyed this video, then make sure you show that like button some love. And for more videos like this and for even more puzzle content, then don't forget to subscribe and turn on notifications. By subscribing, not only will you be the first to know when a new video is released, but you're also helping this channel grow. And you can find me over on Instagram at jigsaw underscore where you'll find even more puzzle content. Thanks so much and see you next time. Bye.